bank revetment uh, is basically the re-establishment of, of banks where there's been obvious erosion through time. Livestock by their very nature are, are heavy. They've got heavier in this country. That's just the nature of, of the beef industry that we have. And, and with that comes, uh, I, I suppose, um, when they're accessing, getting in and out, and the heavier the animal, obviously the more clay and, and, and erosion that there will be on the bank. That's just the way it is. In a, in a natural bank, the morphological processes in rivers will wear away banks. That which happens naturally, you would get undercutting at banks so you would and you get trees falling in and then that diverts the river that all happens naturally but I suppose as we have become more uh, using the land more and there's more human interference for want of a better word uh, we've probably accelerated that so that's why we need to put in measures like this here to re-establish the natural morphological uh, direction and, and, and processes that a river has from, from the top of the catchment to the lower edges of the catchment. So we're at a point here now where um, we have supplied water to this farmer so he no longer needs the water from the river. Uh, he's got a water out there so, so basically we're separating the water from the livestock and that's okay too. We need the livestock and we need the water. Let's work in harmony I say and, and, and have the both working individually. The river not being interfered with the water and the water not interfering because there would have been a time that this water would have come into the land. The landowner doesn't want that either. The, the sediment bed load in, in this particular part of the river is an example of what can happen with continuous bank erosion uh, uh, going on uh, the whole way further upstream like you know this is all that sediment load isn't natural for a river to experience. The, the riverbed was full of sediment, so it was. That's because the channel was too wide, so it was. So what happens there is, because of the livestock access, you have soil coming from the bank into the river. So we had to take in the width. We've taken in the width, I'd say anything from four to five foot in places. This is what we call the vertical logging in this particular bank of measures. We've put, we've put the, um, vertical log down maybe two and a half foot so we have into the ground we've driven it in and then we back that up with with logging going horizontally now they're they're attached so they are to to the log there we have towed the front of that with boulders at the front and to the back so that gives it extra force and extra extra reinforcement why is narrowing the river so important? Well, it's important because when you get the narrowing of the river and, and, and the flow isn't so high, well, it's still getting oxygen from the amount of movement that goes on compared to when the river is very wide. So, so that ripple effect brings in oxygen to the water. Like you can nearly see the bubbles and, and, and the life coming into the water. Well, that's very good for the fish. That's very good for the invertebrates and that's very good for the water. So we've done that in, in, in this particular channel. The flow of the river, the, the, the ripples is very obvious here. Well, before we came, um, there was no ripples. At, at low water like this here, you'd never have seen the oxygen or, 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 or the ripples that, that you can see in this river now. And that's only because we've taken, we've taken the measures that we have. There would have been a time where if you did that, there would have been a bloom of sediment all over the water. That is because we've narrowed the channel, we've got the energy and the flow into the channel. So whilst it's not perfect yet, and I can show you examples of, of, of rivers where it is perfect, that you would never see any, any, any uh, sediment. And that's what we want to get to in the Dromore River system. We want to see you can actually kick and not, not see that bloom of sediment because that's built up over years and years and years. And that's because of the bank erosion that we were talking about earlier, like, you know. So it's coming off the land and it's going in here. And what does that do? It causes that to, Now that is much less than it was, but that's because six months ago, we actually fixed this river. So in a year's time, I'm hoping, you'll not see any of that bloom that it'll be got. Well, I suppose we have to fix it all further up, up the catchment, but that's, that's another day's work. Uh, we only eat an elephant one bite at a time.